Hello friends, this video on biodiversity and conservation part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, till now we spoke about global biodiversity, that means the variety of organisms throughout the world. Now let us quickly look at the biodiversity scenario in our country, that is in India. Now, India has 8.1% of global species diversity and you know what, even though 8.1 seems to be a very small number, but it is actually huge because just now I told you that when you talk about how many total species you have, so the total number of species is in millions. So we actually have some 7 millions of species of plants and animals, which is less than the actual number. And India has 8.1% of that species diversity. Now, if you try to compare the size of India, I mean, if you look at the world map and if you see how much is India, you will appreciate this number even more. That's because India is only about 2.4% of the total world's land area. So the land area is so less, but the species diversity is quite huge when compared to the land area. If you talk about the numbers, so around 45,000 species of plants and more than 90,000 species of animals exist here. Now again, these numbers are also not the exact numbers because not all the species of plants and animals have been identified yet. So we expect that this number is just a, a rough approximate and the real number is a lot much greater than this. So that is the biodiversity in India. Now there are quite a favor. You might think that what is it which actually favors the presence of so many different varieties of living organisms in India. Now as we go ahead with this lesson, you will get to know that there are quite a few factors which are responsible for this high biodiversity in India. Now, when a particular place is very suitable for living organisms, only then that particular place will have a large variety of living organisms. Now, it, it is some, it's something of this sort. Now, let us suppose you, if given a choice, you would always prefer to live in a locality which has all the resources, which has proper water supply, which has which, which is like a neat and clean surroundings, which has the cost of living is quite less. So, if everything is favorable, you feel like staying in that area. Now, the way you think is the way everybody else thinks. So that particular area will be kind of overpopulated with a lot of people. But those areas where there are a lot of problems, maybe water problems, uh, cleanliness problem, uh, and so many other things. So there you will see that even less number of people are uh, living there. So it, it all depends on a number of factors which actually invites a lot of living organisms to dwell in a particular place. So we will talk about those favorable factors which help India to have such a huge global species diversity so that we will take up a little later. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.